कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर टेस्टिंग कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर इज अबाउट कंडीशन इज अबाउट ब्रांचिंग इज अबाउट यस एंड नो इज अबाउट लॉजिक इज अबाउट यस नो जीरो वन एक्सेट्रा सो द व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग इज इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग इफ यू यूज वेरियस वेरिएशन ऑफ कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर टेस्टिंग सो वी हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टेस्टिंग लाइक द कंडीशन टेस्टिंग and condition testing it exercises the logical conditions in a program for example if uh, say voting in in some country if age is say greater than 18 voting rights now this is the conditional uh, say equation or instruction and this is this kind type of testing is conditional testing data flow testing we are talking about the data it can be in simple variable it can be in data structure so it selects the test path in the location of definitions and uses of variable for example this int a a will be private public protected where it will be used it will be global it will be local testing of all these is data flow testing coming to the loop testing now this loop testing is without any uh, logic will not be able to write a program especially for the big projects so loops will be there it will be different loops so the validity of loop constructs has to be tested in loop testing so there are different types of uh, classes of loops this is simple loop just the concatenated loop that means you may have a loop along with this you have this different loop combined this is the nested loop i am talking about inside a loop you have a loop you can have multiple loop inside different loops inside as i just said concatenated uh, concatenated means addition so one loop is connected with other loop they can be dependent they can be independent unstructured loop is all the combination permutation of all these three previous three simple combined with concatenated combined with nested all these correspond to an unstructured loops okay now how to test this simple loops because there has to be a way to test all these loops so just understand simple loop and nested loops first that i'll give you an example to better understand it okay let me take an example what it does inside we are not discussing we just have a simple loop for it will run for 10 times that can be a simple loop it may be adding values it can be you know printing some values or whichever logic you are putting in now first you will do you will give a condition so that the loop is skip entirely this loop won't work at all then you will give only one pass for example i less than 1 in place of 10 you can give 1 it will be one pass so you can fix a variable upper somewhere and that value can be changed you know and then you can have two passes m less than 2 two passes and what you can do is if the value is large so this value is i less than some value is quite large it can be m it can be n now you can give a value which is somewhat less than n it not reaches n so first skip the loop one pass two pass and then any value which is inside or well below this final value say so 6 7 8 like this okay now the final one should be the boundary so say for example 100 values are there this loop will run for 100 times So just check ninety nine, that is n minus one, and then hundred and one, which is n plus one, and hundred is n. If ten is there, you will check for nine, ten, and eleven. This is the simple way to test a simple loop, or you can say these are the steps. In order to test for a nested loop, we will just extend the loop of. simple loops to the nested loops 
and if we do it the test will be impractical numbers for example just say that we have three loops one inside one i'm just using for you can use do while while if else also now these are different simple loops now if you take the permutation combination for example the first one is running for 100 times second is 10 third is 50 inside then that will be an impractical number to to test now bezier suggested that what you can do is you start with the innermost loop give only minimum value to the outermost loop for example the upper two loop outward two loops should run only for one time and the inner should run for say uh, 50 times no the inner loop has to run likes or the tested like what we learned in the simple loop that is skip once one value two value two times and then check the boundary values n minus 1 n n n now this is done now move outward give the minimum value to the innermost and the outermost and then do the simple loop testing for the middle one okay simple loop testing for the middle one same thing you have to do now coming to the uppermost now you check the uppermost loop simply like the the, the simple loop and then the inner should give, be given the typical or the least value concatenated loop can be of two types the loops are independent or the loops are dependent if they are independent don't worry take these two loops and check them as simple loops if they are dependent then just uh, what we have defined in nested loops use that uh, way to do it unstructured loops now unstructured loops can be any because nested concatenated simple or these are combined for that you have to generate you have to see what looping construct is best suited to actually find out the actual result or some kind of boundary values some kind of in between values or some kind of simple and nested combination you have to use